Hello beautiful people, today I'm going to show you how you can turn this image into this image and also at the end I will show you how you can animate it so it's flashing or flickering like this. I'll be using Photoshop and everything will be done in Photoshop so that's the only program you will need. Anyways, let's get started. First things first, I'm going to drag my image into Photoshop. Here I have the image, I'm just going to close this quickly. And as you can see, it's not night and there are no lights in the windows. The first thing I'm going to do is duplicate this layer, hit Ctrl J to duplicate it and rename it to main. Hide the background image, in case we mess up we have a backup. And what I'm going to do now is select the windows that I want to be lit up at the when it's night. So select the lasso tool and make sure it's polygonal. polygonal lasso tool that's a difficult word to pronounce polygonal polygonal uh, select your main layer and select your windows make sure you're on the second box here and just go around the window and select it like this i'm holding space to move around like so now select the third one to subtract it from the selection and like this middle part here is not supposed to light up only the glass part the window part neither this part and i'm going to quickly go around and select two three maybe four windows that i want to light up only the glass part not the wooden part in between Okay, so I selected my four windows here and here here, made a selection, made sure the middle part is not included in my selection. Now I'm going to create a new layer by hitting this plus button here. Now I'm going to select the color I want the window glow to be, window light. Usually it's yellow or orange-ish, somewhere here. More, I, I prefer more orange tones, bright orange. I'm just going to use my swatches and I have an orange color here that I like. And I'm going to click uh, Alt and Backspace to fill the selection on my new layer. Hit Ctrl D to deselect and yeah, we're done. We have the window light. Next thing we're going to do is hit on your main, create a new by hitting the circle here and create a new levels. And we're going to darken the image so it looks like it's night, but don't make it too dark, like gray dark-ish. 8 to 80 that's uh, good enough and now we're going to click on this mask here select your brush tool and make sure you have your black selected here on the top top square and brush around the windows where the light glow is supposed to be and opacity somewhere t at around 10 is enough and just brush around the window like this you can click many times or just you know brush around where the light is supposed to hit where it's not supposed to be dark you know and also make sure you paint the ground because ground is supposed to be bright because it hitting uh, the light from the window is hitting the ground and the person as well I guess from this window here and yeah go around your image and brush where it's supposed to be bright Now I have brush around the windows where it's supposed to be bright light. Next thing I'm going to do is go to this top layer where we made the window color and rename it to window color by double clicking it. And I'm going to duplicate this layer and calling it window color glow. I'm going to go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur select somewhere around 15, 20, 18, something like that. Not too much, because that's, uh, oh, that's actually cool. It all depends on what you like. I'm going to go for 18, not too much. And select screen. Next thing we're going to do is hit on our levels one and create a new levels. And this levels is supposed to be really dark. So we're going to 
dark in it until it's so dark you can only see the windows and barely like the shape of your buildings or whatever you have. 0 to 80 is good enough. Hit the mask and invert the mask by clicking out and backspace, out plus backspace to invert a mask. And brush around the parts where it's supposed to be dark. Select your brush and select white color and opacity around 10, flow at 100 and brush where it's supposed to be dark. I guess the sky is supposed to be more darker and these buildings behind here is supposed to be more darker. So what we're going to do now is go to our levels 1, go to image image adjustments levels make sure you select your mask and we're going to make them more brighter 65 is good enough so we made adjust levels with levels and made them brighter control click your level swan mask and invert it by hitting control shift i go down here and select color balance and now we're going to select what color the highlights is going to be by adjusting our sign reds, yellow, blues in the mid-tones and I want it kind of orangey this is good enough, plus 50, minus 50 something like, it's like, like this not too red next thing we're going to do is control click levels 1 mask and invert it by hitting control shift i to invert the mask Go to image adjustments and I forgot to go to window color glow after selecting it. Image adjustments and hue saturation. And we're going to make it a little bit more yellow. Plus 10 is good. Control D to deselect. Select a levels 1 mask again by holding control and left clicking. And now we're going to not invert it. And instead we're going to create a new color balance. So now we change the color of everything except the window glow. I wanted to make it a little bit more blue toned, like this. Do the same thing again by hitting control on uh, the mask of levels 1 and creating a hue and saturation. And we're going to desaturate the blue we just created. Minus 30 is good, we can go more, but I like to have my blues in the shadows like this. Last thing we're going to do is go to the top and create a new layer and we're going to name it random window light. Select your brush tool, opacity at around 5. Make sure you have your color, the one you selected in the start, or close to it and just paint randomly around where the like the... I like to call it like the floating dust glow is going to be and you can be artistic around here and just you know use your imagination just have it around the windows like this so it's kind of glowy going to use my eraser to remove it from here hit E to select the eraser so I want him to be more contrasty and standing out this is good and select this stop layer that we just created and go to hard light and turn down the opacity to 60 something like this looks much better so we're basically done this is before and this is after one more thing I want to do is replace the sky quickly because it's way too ugly so I found the sky on unsplash.com this is the sky and I'm going to position it where I want it to be. I can turn down the opacity so I can see where I'm placing it. Something like this maybe is good. Hit enter, turn back up the opacity and disable it temporarily. Go back down to your main, use your quick selection tool to quickly select the sky. You can also use the pen tool or the lasso tool, whatever you want, but this is a simple sky. So I'm just going to use my quick selection tool. And if you have a more difficult sky, you need to be more precise. And you know, take your time. So this is my selection, going back up to my sky. Turn it on, click on it and hit the mask button. This is the mask button. Bada bing bada boom, we have a new sky and it's looking much 
more magical and better. If it's way too sharp, you can also add a blur to it, Gaussian blur, somewhere at around 2. So it's not sticking out, not too sharp. Now I'm going to show you the fun part, the animation. So it's the lights are flickering, the windows turning on and on, on and off. Not on and on. But first we're going to sort some things out so make sure your image is perfect and you're happy with it because now we're going to do something destructive you can go back on we're going to merge some layers so we're going to merge with the main image everything that is not does not have anything to do with the window lights it's kind of difficult to explain but in this case we created we're just going to go one by one on this and see what affects lights and what affects the image. Starting not <laughs> with levels one because that's that's the whole image, so just don't touch this. Color balance one, that's the highlights color, color balance two, that's the blues in the shadow, so it affects all the image. So the blue created by turning up the signs and blues, we're going to merge it with the main image, so control click and select those two. Control E to merge them and just drag it back down here and remain it back to main. It remains, it remains, remains, renames it by itself. And we have hue saturation here. It affects the lights, so don't touch that. And levels, that's the dark parts of the image we created. So we're going to merge that too. So now we have this tree and this I mean this six <laughs> and everything here is about the window lights so what we're going to do now is click on levels one duplicate this control J and drag it over the main drag it down so this is copy and we just call and call it night I'm going to show you soon why select levels one to random window light all the six layers dot besides the sky or whatever you have named them so everything that affects the window not this that we created recently and control G to group them go to the night and delete this layer mask and turn it off temporarily so we haven't changed anything we just sorted some things out for the animation we're going to do inside this group one here is everything that has to do with the window light plus this uh, levels one which is basically making the whole image darker and giving it the night look now go to window and select timeline create a new video timeline and we're going to focus on the group one that we created and night only those two we're going to go to the start to the first frame and we're going to click here, create a new opacity and we're also going to go down to night and also create a new opacity. So we have created opacity of group 1 and night. We can turn the night back on and turn the opacity to 0. So now this starts with 0 and this starts with 100. Go one frame forward by holding and dragging this. Go to group 1, go to opacity and turn it down to 0. Go to night opacity this right here and opacity 100 next frame group 1 opacity 100 night opacity 0 and continue to do that make sure you end where you started by having the group 1 at 100 and night opacity at 0 so now we have this effect Ta -da, we have light flickering and we can do it even more by copy and pasting them so if we go to group 1 select these keyframes and copy them move a little bit forward to frame 20 and in order to create a new keyframe it's kind of strange with Photoshop you can't just paste them here you need to do something in order to create it or you can click here and create a new keyframe and paste it and you're going to do the opposite down here copy this create a new keyframe where the, this line is and paste them so now I have one time it does it, two time it does it 
and you can like mess around with it and create as many as you want. So now we have one flicker and epilepsy flicker. Ta da! Now we can export it by hitting here. Select a name, select a folder where you want it to export, and you can decide what size you want. There are some limitations here, just don't make it too big because Photoshop is not that good at rendering. Preset high quality, everything is standard and select all frames and then render. Since I know this is a 4x5, I can have a 1080 by 13550 so it's a perfect Instagram portrait size. That's about it, hope you learned something new and I hope this tutorial was understandable. I know it was a little bit fast and difficult to understand some places. But if you watch through the whole thing, please subscribe and I'll see you next one. Also comment if you want to know any other tutorials or how to do stuff. If you like see an image and be like, oh, how do you do it? You can leave a comment and I'll redo it and show you how to do it. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next one. Bye.